Hey everyone, I uh, wanted to continue our series on working with GA4. I figured today we just tackle something quick and easy as everyone is hopefully getting prepared for a long Memorial Day weekend. Um, today we're gonna take a look at connecting Google Search Console um, to GA4. This is really pretty simple to do, um, but it's super powerful as we can also add the reports, the reporting section, which will allow you to see some of those reports that you would normally have to go to Google Search Console you'll be able to see those within GA4. Um, so to get started, what we're gonna do is just click on this admin icon over here in the bottom left. We're gonna then scroll down on the right column over to Search Console Links. And then we're gonna click on Link. And I'm just using kind of this very simple website that we just created just as a test example case. Not a whole lot of traffic, but you'll get the point of what we're trying to do here. So I'm gonna click on Choose Accounts. I'm gonna scroll down to which one I wanna connect. So, and I'm going to click on confirm. One thing to note, um, obviously, uh, if you don't have verification, um, if you do not have verification rights to the property, um, you need to have owner verification rights to the property within Google Search Console in order to be able to actually add it um, to or create the link between GA4 and Google Search Console. So that means you either need to initially set up the verification with Google Search Console, to your website, or you need to go through the verification process again by either adding a TXT record to your DNS or going through one of the other verification records or verification processes. Um, so once you get that all set up and you choose your property, click on next. Uh, you're going to want to choose the stream that you want to connect to. So most of these webs, if it's just a website, it's going to have one stream, just your, your normal web stream. So I'm click select, hit next and then review and submit. And then so now your link has been created. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. You'll see a pop-up right here now. You'll see your stream ID, when it was linked, all that good stuff. So the second second step in the process is to go ahead and add the reports, um, which this is the coolest process because this actually shows you or gives you a little bit of information on how you can actually customize the reports within GA4. So I'm gonna click on the reports um, button over here on the left-hand side. <clears throat> And then I'm gonna click on library, in the bottom left. Um, the first thing you'll notice, let me move me out of the way. First thing you'll notice is that over here, you've actually already got um, pre-built search console reports. They're just unpublished. Um, and these show up once you actually do that linking of Google search console to GA4. So all you've gotta to do to get these things to actually start showing up is just click on uh, the menu and then click on publish. Give it a second. And now if you look, on the left-hand side, you got your search console and you've got queries. So you got your queries report and then you've got your organic search traffic report over here. Obviously this website doesn't have a whole lot of organic traffic, so this is not really gonna show a lot. This is kind of just like a test site that we're doing for some of our AI generated content. Um, so that's a whole nother thing, but so you're not gonna see a whole lot within here right now, but um, that's pretty much how you do that. And uh, if you actually notice, if you go into library over here, this is where you can actually start creating and customizing your entire report library on the left-hand side. So that is pretty much it. That's how you connect to Google Search Console to GA4. Um, let me know, reach out if you have any questions. Um, this is kind of part of our standard setup process. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna continue on with this series. Um, I'm almost done with a video on uh, a little bit more of an advanced video on actually sending custom events from um, any source really directly to GA4 using Google Tag Manager and the data layer. So I should have that out early next week. And let me know if there's any other topics you'd like me to tackle. Thank you very much.